In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your Fumara workspace layout. So as you can see here, I have Fumara open. And if you go up to the top here, there's a button here that says uh, layout mode. So click on that button. And you're going to see that there's six different options here. Currently, I'm using the classic layout. But if you are new to Fumara, you just opened it, you're most likely going to be on this default layout. Most people don't want to see their project information on this side. So you can go ahead and change into any of this here. So I'm going to go back to here. You also have an organized layout, right? Kind of like a different layout here. You also have uh, your timeline layout that focuses more on the timeline. As you can see, the timeline is a little bigger here than it is on other uh, layouts. Now, you also have a short video layout. That's if you're editing short videos this is pretty cool because it changes uh, the aspect ratio of the preview screen here to uh, show a, a short video okay now you also have your classic which is my personal favorite I like using the classic mode here now we also have a dual screen here if you have two screens on the computer another screen is going to pop up on another screen so there we go this is another window actually it's going to pop up on the other screen so i can move this on my other screen on the computer and i'll preview the video over there okay now let's go back to our uh, classic mode here which is my personal favorite now you also have the ability to detach some of these uh, uh, different windows here. So let's say I wanted to uh, detach uh, the project media from uh, this layout here. I can click drag and move it around. Now, now this is not going to be attached to it, this section here. So I can move this to my other screen. If you have multiple screens, you can put that over here or you can just minimize it. All right. Now, if I wanted to put it back, I can simply close it. It's going to put it back where it was, or I can simply put it back, click, drag and drop it on there. So you can do this on all on all layouts. So if I want to move uh, some things, just I want to move this going like that. All right. You can also um, go ahead and close that. So you can see it's going to go back to where it was. So you have the ability to do that throughout all of these uh, different layouts. Now, the one I recommend is going to be the classic. You have access to everything you need. If you're editing videos, you know, we have your timeline here. You have your uh, project media uh, section here. You have your preview window here. Now, that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show you guys that you do have the ability to change layouts, right? Most people, most people are going to have the default layout. Uh, but if you don't want to use that, you have the option to do so. If, also, if you're editing short videos, it's probably better to use this layout, right? Because it's already configured for that. Now, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.